Namaskar student today we will going to learn our next chapter which is electric potential and capacitance okay this is our second chapter so first of all we have to know what is electric potential the electric potential is a physical quantity which determines the direction of charge flow between two bodies when brought in contact when the two body brought in contact at that time the amount of charge flow and the direction of charge flow between the two bodies this is called electric potential the positive obviously the positive charge always flow from a body at the higher potential to the lower potential so it flow from higher potential to the lower potential the electric potential at any point in an electric field is defined as the work done in bringing a unit positive take charge from infinity to the to that point without acceleration so here we uh, we have to denote we denote it work done by w and positive charge trace charge is q not so what is electric potential v equals to w by q not this is electric potential now here uh, r is a point charge so q is a point charge now uh, we have to uh, this one is what this is higher uh, when we uh, this one converted into higher potential to lower potential so this is from r to p so work done by external force uh, in bringing a positive charge from r to p <coughs> is denoted by we know that the total force is what external which is external this is a repulsive force so it is minus fe so what is the total work done work done by external force which is uh, integration f external dr obviously this one is a repulsive force so this is minus f external dr so this work done is against electro electrostatic repulsive force and gets stored as a potential energy so we can we will denote this one as up minus ur this is work done for this one for this one to this one divided by q here uh, work done is equivalent to up minus ur by q q be the q is the charge okay now electric potential at any point is also can be defined defined as in a negative line integral of electric field from infinity to the given point so here this one is from r to p and if you want to say that this is infinite to r we can write minus integral a uh, minus total integral r uh, infinite to r e dot dl so this is uh, the unit is joule per coulomb or volt and the dimension is this is the dimension for the electric potential the dimension is m l square to the power minus 3 and e to the power minus 1 now what is potential difference this is the point okay and the distance uh, the distance this uh, the q1 q uh, q2 q3 q4 q5 these are the different charges and the distance are different this is r1 p and r1 uh, 2p r3 p r4 p and 5p these are the different distances so the potential difference between two points in an electric field is defined as the work done in bringing unit positive charge from one point to another here for the formula v equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r so these are the different point so for the system we can write v equals to v1 plus v2 plus dot dot vn <coughs> so uh, for the discrete charges we can write summation 1 tends to n 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q i by r i so here 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught this is equivalent to q1 by r1 q2 by r2 dot 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 q n by r n now this one is the point charge this one is the point and the distance are not equal but if we take a equal distance this one is a q chi q q is the charge which is present at origin and the equal distance are there so what is according to according to that 
what is the equation all are the uh, all distance are equal so here this one is the this one will create a equipotential surface so an equipotential surface is a surface with a constant value of potential at all points of the surface okay means <coughs> the potential remain constant throughout the surface and for a single charge q the potential is given by v equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r now there are some characteristics okay for equi equipotential surface electric field at every point is normal to the normal means every point this one is 90 degree okay to the equipotential surface passing through that point that point means this one if the field were not uh, normal to the equipotential surface if this one is not normal okay it would be non-zero component because this one will be cancelled out this is same and this one will be cancelled out okay and there is no potential difference between any two points on the uh, surface and no work done is required to move a test charge on the surface if there is there is no potential difference means potential difference is zero this one potential difference is zero then work done become uh, th there is no work done so work done become zero okay thank you for watching this video